Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today we're going to be taking you through a day in our life here in the Dominican Republic. Not just any day though, it's Sunday. Sundays are a little bit different for us. We'll explain more about that later in the video here. But I have my coffee. I mentioned it's Sunday. Sunday means we put out a video today. So I'm sitting here replying to a few comments from the previous video right now. And let's see if any of you watching are gonna be in the comments. So there's a comment here from one of our channel members, Janice Langell, happy new year. Rain, rain and rain in Halifax. If all of you watching don't know, we're from Halifax, Nova Scotia. It's winter right now, at least it's rain and not snow, but we're glad to be here in the south. Let's see what else we have. Jean Reyes commented, I was in Caparete this whole week, spent New Year's Eve in an all-inclusive around you guys. I even recognize some of the people you filmed on the beach. Yeah, so you guys have probably can tell from the videos here, Caparete is pretty small. So you recognize a lot of the same faces. We certainly agree with that. There was another question here uh, from Shano. Great video, Anna and Trevor. I appreciate the information. We've been following you for a long time. Hey, quick question. How does the DR compare to Curacao or Dominica? All right, I can take this one. I am awake in case anyone was wondering if I still happen to be in bed. I've got my coffee and I will try to answer this question. We could probably do an entire video on the differences, but I'll try to keep it as snappy as possible. Dominica, we do have a video on that in case you have haven't seen it before, that was from a few years ago. It's very on touch, it's full of nature, full of waterfalls and rivers, uh, so that's really what it's all about. And then Curacao, I'd say, is higher end, a little bit more expensive, and then Dominican Republic, much, much, way bigger than both of those islands, way more people, but it's so big that it also has so much to offer. There are waterfalls, there are rivers, there are beaches, there are cities and towns, and it's really got everything. It's also Spanish, so it's got the Latin vibe as well. So we mentioned that Sundays are a little bit different for us. That is because we try to relax and chill out. As I said, today is Sunday. We're gonna take you through our kind of lazy day. The reason that our days on Sunday are pretty chill is because all of the work through the other days of the week lead up to this day, and this is when we usually kind of try to rest and relax. Yeah, and even though we do work for ourselves, I mean, we basically create our own schedule, we do try to have some sort of like daily routine. So like Monday through Friday, we're often doing so web design yeah. work in the morning, we get up and we do a few hours of work, and usually in the evenings as well, or we might be, you know, editing a video in the evening, yeah. that kind of thing. And then in the afternoons, we do try to like, do some fun stuff while we're here, you know, like <laughs> go out do. on the beach, go for a walk, go to the <laughs> pool, go to, you know, have a beach day, something like that. For all you guys that are new around here and you just heard a web design business, yeah, this is how we're able to stay on the road and travel. Of course, the YouTube channel helps as well, but we do have a web design business. So if any of you need a website designed, <laughs> just send us a message, we can help. So we are now out on our patio. You can probably see the beautiful pool here behind me. We're going to try to take you guys there a little later today. But first, we're going to do one of our favorite things that happens every week. Every Sunday, we go to brunch. We're gonna be taking you guys with us. By the way, today's video is a little bit more about us. So if you're new around here and you're like, who are these two people? I'm Trevor, that's Hannah. We are the Delightful Travelers. So we're just on our way down here to the beach and we were curious if any kites were going to be out, but yeah, it's pretty quiet so far today. Maybe, again, we still haven't figured out quite what the wind needs to be like for there to be lots of kiters. There's a few of those, a couple out there. You see a bunch down at Kite Beach, but like the last few days, especially late afternoon, it's just like <laughs> hundreds of them. So walking the beach here just never gets old in Cabarete. It's absolutely beautiful. You might be able to see the place that Anna's walking to behind me. It's called Yalis. We're gonna go try to get brunch there. Hope it's not too busy. It's also a little more on the pricey side for the Dominican Republic. It's more like Canadian prices, but we don't do this very often. So this restaurant is part of the Millennium Hotel and you can see this gorgeous pool. How amazing is that? This is definitely one of the more swanky places here on the beach. Our food has arrived and of course we have drinks as well. We went for our regular weekly Caesar. Gonna have that on a Sunday. And thankfully you can find it pretty much everywhere here in the Dominican Republic. Our uh, brunch also comes with fresh juice. We got passion fruit. I went for a very, very exciting breakfast. I haven't had this in so long. It's very exciting to find it here because honestly, a lot of the breakfasts at uh, most of the restaurants around are pretty similar. You just get omelets and eggs and that kind of thing. I got shakshuka. You guys have never had that before. It's basically like a baked egg dish. It's usually in a tomato sauce. It has some feta cheese on top. And it comes with some crusty bread to dip 
on the side. Let's dig into this beautiful, beautiful dish. I love that it comes right in the pan, like they cooked it in. Mm, there was peppers in here, wow. It's gonna be hot. Let's see what the uh, verdict's going to be. So good. <laughs> mm. A little bit spicy, but not too spicy. Very, very savory. I love the feta cheese. Gets a little bit of saltiness on the top. It's creamy. Mm, it's so delicious. So I went for some eggs Benedict and uh, just breaking it open. That looks like some good yolk on here. I got as well uh, some bacon to kind of round that out. Now, holiday sauce, of course, is on eggs bent and it's something we don't come across down here too often so let's just give it a try mm. oh yeah mm. oh the holiday sauce just seems like a special treat and there's like a little lemon zest in that or something like that the egg is cooked perfectly i find it's hard to cook a proper poached egg but these guys got it down bacon is very good as well as nice and flavorful and sitting on this nice kind of bun rounds it out there's also Kind of like potatoes. Uh, I think they're a lemon potato. Mm. Oh yeah, also good. Those are baked low and slow for a long time. This is kind of the perfect brunch. I said before, we don't do this very often because this is a little more pricey than most places in the Dominican, but every now and then, maybe once or twice a month, it feels like a special thing to do. We try to do that as much as we possibly can. Well, that was so good. Right now we're walking out at the front entrance by the street. You can see the Millennium sign in the background very nice hotel. We're on our way back to show you guys the pool. Just lounge there and then uh, we're gonna take the road because it's just quicker and we have a few things we have to do on the way. A couple errands basically. So traffic's pretty quiet at the moment which is kind of rare. It is really rare. I think maybe because it's Sunday <laughs> and everyone's at the beach right now. Here's one thing though Cabarete needs to improve on sidewalks. <laughs> they definitely in the main part of the town there are a few sort of sidewalks here. It's kind of a little scary, I guess you could say. You have to yeah. really watch out for cars and mud and glass. And Hopefully all the they so continue just... to put them in sidewalks, so yeah. that's the thing. Uh, so had to make a quick pit stop. We got some uh, soda water and beer for the pool. I mean, we can't go relax at the pool without any liquids. I mean, especially the beer, right? So by the way, guys, there's one thing I don't think we ever bring up, at least very often, and mainly it's because we never remember to when we're filming these videos. <laughs> we do have an Instagram account. So often you guys ask if uh, that exists, and yeah, we do. Yeah, we post on our feed. Not as often as we should, but we do a lot of Instagram stories, and it's more like in the moment, keeping you up to date with what we're up to. If you, really, you know, these videos often come out like a week or two, sometimes even later. Yeah. Uh, but Instagram is obviously in the moment, <laughs> so you can kind of see us as we do things. Kind of in uh, real time, and to be honest, uh, Instagram. We're just not really digging the platform lately, but we do like stories. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious about you guys. Are you guys into stories on Instagram? Are you still into the photo feed? Into reels. <laughs> Are you into reels? We're not into reels at all. <laughs> but don't worry, we're into YouTube. And you can follow us on Instagram. We have made it out to the pool. As much as I enjoy brunch every week, I think my favorite part of every single day is getting to spend at least a little bit of time at the pool. Super relaxing, I usually have, well, Sometimes I have a beer, it's Sunday. Normally I'd be having water this time of day, but you know, it's Sunday. And I also usually am reading a book, enjoying the view. And <clears throat> I know a lot of people often ask us, how can you possibly be productive when you have a pool and the beach literally steps from where you're living? And I know that's kind of what it seems like, but I actually feel like we're probably more productive in this situation than we even are at home. Yes, of course, today's Sunday. We do, don't do as much work as normal. It's our more relaxing day. But we are filming a video right now, and we do put a video out every Sunday. But the rest of the day, we just kind of try to chill. But in general, we find that we work harder and more efficiently in probably less amount of time, only because we have that goal of getting out here. You guys, the weather has been absolutely spectacular here. It, there's barely a cloud in the sky almost every single day. It is sunny, sunny every day. I mean, that's why we came here in the first place. I mean, that's the kind of Caribbean lifestyle, the Dominican Republic lifestyle we are after. And because of that, we are outside all the time exercising. Today, we're just chilling in the pool, but we're still outside. That leads to a mental health. We feel so good being here. I mentioned in the past that we, or I specifically struggle with uh, my mental health all about a year or so, so ago when we were stuck in Canada. So luckily I worked that out with lots of different tools, but I can tell you, just being here 
outside every day in this kind of weather is pure perfection. It feels so good. Highly recommended if anyone can get here, but the Dominican Republic. Didn't think we'd like it so much down here. Not gonna lie. So I got my uh, beer on the go. Got this from the store that we just stopped at uh, a few minutes ago in the video. Believe it or not, this costs about like a dollar Canadian. <laughs> so yeah, it's very affordable down here in the Dominican Republic. And I'm not just talking about the beer. Just being here, we save so much money rather than being back home in Canada where we are from. If you're wondering or you want more details about costs here because it is one of the most requested uh, questions people ask us all the time, we filmed a video on the cost of living in the Dominican Republic. We'll link it maybe up here on the screen so you can go back and check it out because it has all the details that you would possibly need. All right, back on the beach. It is low tide and it's windy and we're starting to think that's the key for the kiters, huh? Yeah, there's <laughs> loads of them out here. Again, you go away for a few hours just to the pool and then you come back and everybody's out. Yeah. Hundreds and hundreds of kiters, lots of people on the beach. It's also about four o'clock now, so it's starting to cool down. That's when everyone seems to come out because it's more tolerable, but this breeze is really nice. So Sunday is always the busiest day on the beach. And of course, like lots of tourists are here, but there are tons of Dominicans. It's like a, basically a family day, I think, for Dominicans. So they all come together in big groups to the beach. We've meant to take you guys up the other side of the beach here for a while, huh? mainly because of these palm trees. Yeah, so this is like the very, very far end of the beach. You can sort of walk around there sometimes when the tide's really low, but not today. But there's lots of like modern, I guess, complexes, condos down here. But then you have these really, really pretty palm trees that just come over the beach. I don't know, it's something about this side of the beach that I really like. One of the other things we like about this side of the beach is it's very quiet and there's way less people. So in times like this, if you do want to kind of avoid some people, you can do that. There's actually a really great restaurant up here called Nectar that we're going to go to for happy hour. So it's a bit of a pro tip because Nectar is considered kind of expensive for the area. Would, if you're coming to Caparete, you wouldn't go there every night, would you? No, it's, it's well, I wouldn't say it's at home prices, but it's more expensive for uh, yeah. what's what you'll find on the beach, but they also have really good food and a really good happy hour. That's the ticket. A lot of people don't know they have a great happy hour, but it's only till six o'clock. So we're gonna go there right now. Perhaps you can see why we like it here so much. It's golden hour. We're directly on the beach and the ocean is right in front of us. Feet in the sand, there's a lovely breeze. There's also not many people around. It also happens to be happy hour, Ooh. mojito happy hour, and that our favorite, favorite, <laughs> another favorite time of day. I feel look, like I've been saying that all day. Look at that mojito, guys. <laughs> That looks like a proper mojito. It's a good one. So this is probably a good time to bring up all the messages we get from you guys on Instagram, on YouTube, on Facebook about wanting to meet up with us. And we're specifically talking to everyone that's coming to Cabarete or around Porta Plata in general. We so appreciate all of the messages and we'd love to meet up with our subscribers. And we have in the past and we have met up with a few here, but now with everything going on, we're just trying to be cautious. Yeah. And we, and like Trevor said, we really, really appreciate it. We would love to meet up with people. We literally get messages like at least once a day from somebody wanting to, to meet us. Which yeah. Is, I mean, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. And we would, guys, we just right now, again, we're just trying to be careful. A lot of people are just flying in. It's probably not the best option, their best idea, I should say, to just go hang out with people. If things get better, we promise we will. It's one of our favorite things to do is hang out with you guys, the people that watch our videos, because as we said, we're just two people. We, it's just us talking to each other in the camera. For us, we want to meet the viewers, and it just sucks right now with this whole situation, but. I know, if it ends soon, we'll have a great big meet up with everybody, but I, I don't we will. think that's gonna happen next time. <laughs> Very soon. And I will say, just let us know. She said a great big meet up, and we have, teased in the past and maybe at some point we do a group trip or something like that this is definitely in the future we don't want to do it right now but let us know what you think we'd love to hang out with you maybe we go hang out without covid somewhere else in the world all of us together at once that'd be really fun <laughs> by all of us i mean we can't take the 90,000 of you but you know what i'm saying <laughs> i don't know how we'd pull that off a really really big resort <laughs> or a big stadium <laughs> All right, we're clearly talking too much. It's time to kind of wrap up the video, but look at that sun. Go, look, look at that behind you. Yeah, it's beautiful. They have beautiful sunsets here, even though we're obviously not remotely facing west. But like, usually <laughs> the, the sun bounces off the clouds and it gets pink and purple. It's very, very pretty. Favorite. It should happen very soon. <laughs> it's a favorite time of day. We're gonna finish up our mojitos. We just wanted to say thanks to every one of you that watch every week, every episode. You guys leave us comments. You hit that like button, because that helps. 
If you don't know who we are, Trevor and Anna, delightful travelers. If you do know who we are, it's very nice to see each and every one of you again. Hopefully you've enjoyed getting a little bit of a glimpse into our daily life, especially on a Sunday here in the Dominican Republic. Hope you're not too <laughs> jealous. I, every day is not Maybe like this. Well, I mean, this is Sunday, is. but we do try to make it out at least this it's time of day. It's very nice being here, I will say that. Just remember, we work behind the computers a lot, and yeah. you don't see that, so we that put... That would be a really boring video. Work. So, next up, a lot of you have wondered where we're off to. A lot of you have guessed correctly. Yes. Las Taranis is happening. Yes, so it, many people have recommended it. So many people have asked us to go there. We're so excited. We've heard I such know. amazing things. And we have purposely not tried to look up a lot about the area. Mm -hmm. I haven't watched any videos on it. So we don't even know what we're going into. I mean, loosely we do. So we're excited. We know you guys will be excited. And that is the plan. And then after that, we'll probably be back here in yes, Cabaretta. We're actually moving apartments after that. So oh, yeah. Lots of fun you stuff guys will see an, our new home eventually. Yes. All right, guys, that's it. From Cabarete, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon. Oh,